I got something pretty cool I want to show you guys here in Studio One Three. It's actually playing with the splitter mode. Some of you guys may or may not know about that mode, but I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So right here, I have a stereo track. So my first track here is a battery four plug-in, and I just dialed in a, a simple loop, and I bounced it down to a stereo track, and this is what it sounded like. All right, just a real simple two-bar loop, nothing going on, bass, clap whatever right but this is what I want to show you guys and I can minimize this here and show you guys exactly what I'm what I'm talking about here not that it that we're gonna be focusing on this but it just make me feel good <laughs> alright so basically what I'm gonna do is add a reverb on here alright so I'm gonna add a third party reverb something totally different from the studio one plug-in or, or, or whatnot so I'm gonna add an RC48 by native instruments so I'm just drag that in right and this is what it sounds like when you just add the reverb in okay you could do it like that but if you pay attention to the meters here right here in this section you notice that everything is being picked up the kick the snare so what we don't what we're going to try to achieve is reverb on the snare or on the clap without it affecting the bass or the kick so the way to do that i just thought it was pretty cool how you can use the splitter mode to do to execute certain things like that you know and and but frankly i, I feel like this is another tool to be very creative and create new sounds and you know different things and you just got to play with it so right now it's just this is like the back end routing and you know nothing nothing happens you just looking at the routing but in order to activate the splitter you have to actually drag in the splitter at the top so now so now we have all of these different these different modes here we got normal split channel frequency and frequency will be you know by frequency split channel will be left and right you know depending on what side you you have your r your, your, your reverb or whatever and then normal is just you know just normal you can also split this or you know make more more routes as i will call it or more splits you can add a, a you know make it four and have several things going on but we're just going to work with two because we're working with you know left and right or frequency split and you can definitely mute e either or either side so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to put this reverb on this side here i'm going to click up here and what i want to do is try to get reverb only on the clap now this is good for when you get a stereo track and you want to incorporate reverb only in a certain frequency range of the track I don't like putting reverb on my bass drum or my kick drum I like it to be more so on the clap all right so so you do what you do as normal you know and i'm actually turn off the bass here now we got like you know something going on I can actually go and change up the the preset. I don't know. That's probably too long. I don't want it that long. Let's go for another preset. Uh, let's see what that sound like. That's a little. It's 
still too long. Okay. That's cool. I'm just playing around. All right. Just playing around with different settings. Now, if you're listening, you know, I, I, I sort of did my job, but I'm not complete because I'm not satisfied with how the sound, what it did was somehow my my clap sounds a little dull. All right. So what you could do is go back to your splitter. All right. And you can just grab. I'm going to grab Studio One. And just put it right on top of it. Now, inside of the track itself, it's gonna look like you just added a any plugin. You know what I mean? It, you know, it, it will be nice if Studio One shows some type of indication that this is a splitter plugin. You know what I mean? Like this is being incorporated in, in the back end splitter. But right now it just look like a, a regular plug in or whatever. But actually we are routing this in the splitter. So but anyway, you can you can definitely pull it up as a regular plug in and go between, you know, your plugins like like normal, but it is just in split mode where it's only affecting a certain frequency because that's what we have it set for. So um in this instance, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to uh, my my EQ and we want to kind of play with the, um, the frequency for the for the clap and you could just go back and forth and you know That's what I'm gonna do. Turn it into the mix because if it's if it's if it's wet all the way, and, and this function happens to be in most plugins, you can make it all the way wet, or you can just make it, you know, mix where you can control how much wet or dry. Now that sounds a whole lot better. So now I can control how much of this reverb I want. Now, if you're listening and also looking, the same meter section right here, there is no kick. It's only affecting my clap. See that? There is no kick in this meter. So, I've executed what I'm trying to do and, you know, just play around with, say, you don't want that much. So that's cool. That's cool. I just thought I'd show you guys that because it, it was dope to me when I finally grabbed the concept behind Splitter and how it works. And we're, again, working inside of a stereo track. Say you wanted to work on this a little bit more. You want to do a little bit more. You know, say what, what we've done so far is not good enough. You can actually duplicate this track here. And, you know, just copy it down and it's going to create an, a, a new track for you. And you can grab, you know, just copy the 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 the, the EQ over the EQ. <laughs> and, um, you you know, activate a high pass filter, cut out the low end and continue working on the clap, you know, and, and you can go that route. Let's grab this here. You know, let's mute this here. You know, some something like that. Say you want a another attack. You know what I'm saying? And actually, what I would do is changes to mono actually so it can hit a little harder now that's like a a phasing issue
And what I would do is actually, I'll turn this, you know, bring that back to default or incorporate a high cut type deal and bring this up. You know what I mean? You know, say 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 you don't want to do it the way I showed you and, and just add a reverb on top of that. I just showed y'all two things in one video, <laughs> but that's 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 what I would do playing with stereo tracks to get what I need, you know, because sometimes when you get a stereo track, everything that you're looking for is not in there. You know, it's dry. I need something to pop, but I still wanted to use the snare that they have in the in the loop itself. But the snare is so unique to the point where you can't find it because the producer who who created the track stacked several you know several sounds to create a new something new and so this is a great way for you to be able to execute something just working inside of stereo tracks and not you know trying to recreate the track all right so i hope you guys learned something from this i'm ella music is art you're the artist Paint your picture.